everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely cocktail. This is a retro kind of cocktail. This is a dark and stormy. Now it only requires a couple ingredients. It requires dark rum, it requires ginger beer. I'm using a ginger soda today which is like a ginger beer. And bitters, okay, and a lime. So let's get started. We're going to serve this in a highball glass over ice and I'm going to add two ounces of dark rum, whatever kind you like. We're going to add a couple dashes of Angostura bitters, but you could also use orange or grapefruit, whatever you like. I'm going to add just a few drops of that. Um, not everyone adds lime juice. I am going to add a lime for garnish, but I do like to add just a little bit of lime juice to this just to kick it up a little bit more. So go on and squeeze yourself some lime in there. You'll be happy to get. And I'm using Verner's today, but use any kind of ginger beer you like. Top that up. Those bitters give just a lovely spice to everything. I'm going to give it a quick stir just to combine, garnish with a lime, and serve with a straw, and a smile. Dark and stormy. There you go. So that's what it looks like. I like that you get the dark rum at the bottom and it kind of looks stormy from the bottom to the top. And then you get the foamy ginger beer as you serve it. Lovely, with a little bit of citrus, right? Perfect with your... Uh... Tenderloin. I think so. A blackened bourbon braised uh, tenderloin we're doing tonight. Uh, we're, this is kind of going to be a Mardi Gras, you know, theme. Uh, this is from Bermuda, this beverage. However, Dark and Stormy sure does uh, coincide with Louisiana hurricane weather too, doesn't it? <laughs> now, have you ever had one of these, Mom? Would you like to have a taste? Sure. Well, let's squeeze the lime in here. Dark and Stormy. So, lime in. You ready? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Of course you don't need to make it that strong if you don't want it that strong. <laughs> Mom's going... Mm. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Ooh, it's strong. <laughs> Here, let's add some more ginger beer. Wow. <laughs> you like that? It's a great taste. It's a nice taste. Mm -hmm. with, the, with the bitters in there, it yeah. gives it just a little bit different yeah. kind of a... Character. Yeah, a little bit of a spice. Nice. Delicious. Now I did have the West Indian bitters, the orange bitters, and those would have worked beautifully in here as well. Mm -mm -mm. So there you go. That's how you make that classic dark and stormy. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly. And I'm also syndicated on Apple TV and Amazon. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going on in your culinary world, alright? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye! Thank you.